Hi everyone, welcome to the Nicholas Workshop. So in today's video we're going to have a look at this um, new POTS uh, milling attachment I've got for the um, the Myford lathe. Um, so I first became aware of these when I watched a video by a, a gentleman called John. I can't remember the, the exact name of it. It's John and some numbers after it. But um, I'll put a, a link to his... Um, uh, his video in the um, in this video description uh, under a, a section heading called the videos mentioned. Now, um, what John 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 has got two of these, and and really after watching his videos, it really did um, uh, sell me on trying to track one down. Now I've waited quite a while to to get one, but um, one popped up on eBay, and uh, so I went for it. So basically, um, you secure this to your uh, to the lathe. You've got a hand wheel to to move it up and down. This has been adapted to take ER uh, ER sixteen collets. Um, so in in addition to be able to uh, move it that way, you can move it this way as well. Um, so traditionally they were run with um, a separate motor. You'd have, um, uh, I don't know what you call it, a drive belt, drive belt that would come up over and then down, down to the pulley at the back. So you there, yeah, your motor would come up, come down, round, back up and back to your motor. So that would give you your drive. Well, if we look, um, or uh, I'll explain it to you a bit further when we get over to the lathe. Um, on on a way that John's done it, which is uh, seems to be far far better, you know, for the modern world we live in, really. Um, so along with this, um, there's the spindle in here. I've got the original, or came with two other spindles, or part of one anyway, the internal. Um, Actually, still don't run to very. They, this one runs fairly well, so it's um, that that's quite good to have the original one. This one, the the chap spent about sixty quid on bearings, and um, so this one runs extremely well. I I've got no um, spec on the bearings, and so I don't really know how good speed wise you can run this thing up to. But um, but it's a good. Um, it's a good starting position for me really because I don't have to really worry about the bearing you know the spindle at the moment I, you know maybe in the future I may have to um, look at that again um, but but I think it's um, it's it's pretty good pretty good starting position from watching John's video a number of times um, this appears to be on upside down and uh, he shows you can see in this video where it's uh, it's turned the other way which actually allows you to a, a better range of movement within what you you would need on the myford lathe so it, it's pretty good now um yeah so what i'll do is i'm going to take this bit off because it'll be easier to demonstrate when i'm on the lathe um, and in reality what i plan to do with this won't have this anymore anyway um so uh I'll take that off, uh, reposition the camera, and then we'll have a look at it, and I can talk to you about what what the plan is to do with it on the lathe. Okay, back in the mind. Right, here we are then, back at the lathe. Um, oh, back at the lathe, at the lathe. So all I've done is just plonk this. Uh, I've taken the the bit off, as I said, the um, drive pulleys. Um, so what? How you would normally expect to use this is you would remove. Remove your compound slide. So we just pop that over there for the second. And then you would bolt this to uh, bolt this into into position. You're driving um, uh, via your pulleys would all work. Um, let me just check you're in focus. Yeah. So uh, your pulleys would drive the drive the spindle, and away you go. And as we said, let me move that back a bit. As we said, you wind the handle, 
up and down to to get your center height or wherever you are to get the position so this was would be bolted onto um i don't even know whether they match yeah looks like you probably can get two so bolted onto through the t slots and uh and away you go so what what um john's done on his and it's a it's a pretty clever idea is um here's the um the compound slide and so what you've got is the groove there and it fits in through the hole here um, and then you do up two nuts to secure it and that when it's on there allows you to swivel it to the var various angle um, when you're when you're turning so what the so what what John has done is effectively copied this this below on here he hasn't got a mic but he's got a different lathe so what I plan to do is to copy that um, so it fits exactly the same exactly the same method on there um, but then and take off this this large metal base and then that sits in it so it will just be effectively sitting over the hole there and then it I can move it to so I get the I can set it to whatever angle I want from that that perspective um, as before you've got the up and down movement from the hand wheel up here and then what you can do let me find the spanner you then have got um, you then you've also got movement from this this perspective so that's fine I mean you're hardly gonna really be drilling downhill are you but but what um, what you can do then is when I turn it round this way by undoing that let's take the knife make sure I've got some clearance we can go the other way so so then if I'm drilling into the side of the workpiece that's held in the uh, in the uh, lathe chuck I can do that so and here are the let me just check you can see so here is the bearing surface uh, surface where uh, the clamp with the pulleys on for the drive belts were so what what the plan is to do is to create um, something probably out of aluminium that goes around here comes up and then just above it we have a have a motor directly to it and uh, i don't, can't remember what the technical term is but the two the tooth belt sort of drive similar to how you have on uh, stepper motors when everyone um, automates their machines so then it will just be and then just have a simple um uh, control box to vary vary the speed so when so when I want to go from this position to effectively this position all, all you have to do is loosen off the uh, the clamping bolt surround well this surface and then just twist the twist the engine around I'm not sure I'm doing that, doing justice to actually the design the way John's done it so but you know if you're finding this mildly interesting I would definitely have a look at his his video because it's um he really does go into um, uh, well you don't, you don't actually see him machining it but you do he talks to the logic of what he's done and you can see the fruits of uh, of his work uh, when it's completed so um yeah, yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite excited about this one because I think it is um, uh, quite, quite a sort of elegant solution the way John's done it. And it, so you're using a lot of the existing uh, design of of the Myford. If it if it's strong enough to hold your um, compound slide, then I think it it'll be strong enough to hold hold this. And you also then you you have the using the same um, the same bolts to. To lock it off everything is just um, um, you're not you're not creating new um, new work and and it's sort of relatively out of the way so you haven't got 
um, I've seen quite a few people who who um, have um, uh, well, they effectively have one of these, and and the big truthful, I was going to go down this this route myself until I uh, picked up that. So they tend to have have one of those on, and then they bolt their their spindle to here. So again, it's quite it, it, it's effective. What you probably don't get is the ability to swivel so easily. Um, as we will do with this, uh, the solution with the the pots milling attachment. So actually, it's um, strangely enough, this is probably one of the one of the bits of kit that I've uh, been most excited to um, to purchase because I think um, uh, I think it will serve me very well. I'll be interested. Um, I'd like to be able to do some, um, uh, well, I don't know what you call it, but um, the work that people do with a tool post grinder, uh, but generally they seem to run at, at phenomenal speeds, you know, sort of. Um, so uh, if you're watching uh, Mr. Grant, I'd be interested to, to know what your view would be of the maximum speed I'd need to be able to get this this spinning at to be able to put a small uh, grinding wheel in there to um, to have a go. Um, these the with the um, ER sixteen collets, I think it's ten mils the the biggest I can hold in there, so that gives me a reasonable amount of um, uh, you know size bulk. Well, bulk ten mils not that big, but in the world of Marford lathes, it's reasonably big to be able to hold that and um, to, oh, to hold a grinding wheel. So hopefully what what i'll have here when i'm finished is something that will be um pretty good uh so you can um john john um is a watchmaker or a clockmaker so you can see in his video how he's he's put a um, um a gear cutting um tool in here and he's, he's cutting gear teeth so so or oh, teeth no cutting gears sorry um on his and, and it works fine so yeah the only yeah it would be ideal if i could get it out to a spec where i could do some um effectively grinding or tool, tool post grinding um for want of a better term but at the moment um but uh, but i just i don't know what uh what sort of speeds i'd need to get this to i don't i don't I'm not sure. I think it's um, maybe too far out of this. So yeah, another little, well, it's a giant project really. And um, if I could get it uh, anywhere near the, the quality that John's done, I, I'll be um, I'll be extremely uh, happy. He's a very capable man. So uh, anyway, here it is. Pot's uh, milling attachment for the Myford. So um hope you found that uh, interesting and um we will i will get to it um i think it's probably a little bit down the road before i start attempting this one i've got to source all the the electric motor and all the components to um you want like a, a potentiometer to vary the speed and the power packs and all that stuff so um and to be truthful it, it might it might be a bit um a bit beyond me really with uh my recent um turning skills so um i, I think um well not skills but rustiness let's say so i think um i may get on with some other projects before uh i do this one because I, I really don't want to cock it up anyway as i said i hope you found it interesting and um Stay happy, strong and healthy and I'll speak to you in the next one. Okay, bye-bye.